Okay, doggy. Let us learn. So, the reason for the tutorial is because I would love to inform you what I've learned about open stage control and its integration that you can potentially manifest with it Ableton as well. Um, and there's a lot of tutorials out there, but they're made from pro scripters and they're very informative, but it took a lot of research to try and understand what was going on because I'm not really a coder or a scripter and it, it took a lot of energy. And so hopefully I can make life easy if you wish to do the same thing, integrating open stage control with Ableton. Uh, this is going to be a part series, so I'm going to inform you how to just install everything first. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is download everything. So you got the open stage control website, pretty easy. Literally download is in the first page and you just choose the system right for you. For me, it's Windows. If you have a Mac, let me know uh, the equivalent uh, setting up for the next few programs that I'm going to tell you guys to install. Open stage control is pretty easy because you get the Mac version of it. But here, for Windows, you need to download Loop MIDI, which is pretty much creating a MIDI server to send things to, to send like MIDI information to. I don't know understand how it probably works, but I do understand that you send MIDI inf information to it and Ableton reads it and understands it as a MIDI device to receive information from it. You send stuff to Loop MIDI and then Ableton receives stuff from Loop MIDI. That's how I understand it. So you click download and it's very easy. It just downloads straight away. Great. So, uh, MIDI key to key is very easy as well. You go to the download page and it's free and you download the latest version because the weight for velocity zero is very useful. Latest version. Ah, and also you want to install a fourth one, which is Send Key. Send Key is very cool. It just opens up the possibilities of what you can do. So the reason why you want to download MIDI Key to Key is because you can send MIDI information, like a like a C, like a note, or you can send CC, like MIDI triggers to MIDI to key and it translate it translates it to MIDI keystrokes so for example if I want to be like oh I want to save Ableton with just one press of a of an iPad button well it translates a MIDI information into a keystroke that you input and this thing is for free as well uh, and also, I would suggest downloading this thing, Send Key, and I'll get deeper into why it's worth having. But a basic understanding of why is you can do command, like command line tools, which is like a sequence of instructions. It's like, hey, MIDI key to key, can you please do this? And then after you do that, do this, do this, and do this and do this and do this. Thank you very much. It also handles some special keys. Like I, I found that you couldn't uh, tell MIDI key to key um, to press the left arrow. It just, like Ableton just doesn't understand the left arrow or the arrow keys in general. So this is a work, like it's not a workaround. It's like an extension of the program. So download all four of these things. The main program, loop MIDI and MIDI key to key and send key. So once you've done that, then you can install it. Open stage control installing. Installing open stage control. I think I just accidentally opened it twice. But open stage control installing. All you have to do is drag all this stuff into a place. 
in Windows. And for me, I dragged it all into program files. So local disk, program files, and I just made a new folder called OpenStage Control. Or what you can do is just obviously just rename this OpenStage Control. Control. You can name it anything you want. Ha ha ha. And drag it into program files. Yeah, that's that's it. Next thing you want to do is install Loop MIDI Setup, which is very easy. It just comes up, I've already got it installed, so it just comes up, install it, and you install it. Great. Yes, I want to cancel. And the last thing you want to install is MIDI key for key, key to key. Whoops. No, that's, that's the, that's the future. I can't show you the future yet. So MIDI key to key. It's like, hey, welcome, install me. And you install it and it works great. So to install send key though, there's no, there's no instructions. Uh, sorry, there's no installation. It comes up with a help pad to tell you how to use it. And the way to install it is to pretty much drag. I dragged the 64 bit version because I've got Windows 64. I dragged it into where MIDI key to key is installed, which is in local disk program files. So this didn't used to be there. And then I dragged the send key application plus the the help file just in case I needed it right next to it. So very easy. Cool. Let's get to setting up open stage control. So you can open up OpenStage Control now, and it's got all these options. The only option you need to worry about is MIDI. I also like using Load, so that means I have these templates here. I, um, I used Brian Rivlin. He helped me understand it a little bit better. So, make sure to check him out. But thank you, Brian, for informing us towards the future. So I used his template to help me understand how to to utilize uh, open stage control in different ways as well. So I highly recommend downloading other people's templates to learn more about how to use open stage control. But anyway, if you want to load up a, a template of yours every single time you start open stage control this is the place to do it so this is very useful and MIDI is the main thing you want to be using MIDI 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 and that's the main one so let's have a look you need to open up let's take rid of that loop MIDI now how do you do that so down here There it is, Loop MIDI. And you have to right click it to open it up. You can't just click it, it doesn't open. But if you press Configure MIDI, then it opens. All right, tutorial over, goodbye. No, no, the tutorial's not over. It's just that display's over. So now Loop MIDI is open. And I highly suggest making a very short name because you're gonna be writing the MIDI port like the MIDI's name many times. You can obviously copy and paste, but yeah, I highly suggest a short name. And I make two MIDI ports. Um, so let's, to make things clear, you should, you should be creative. So to make, to make, to make things very clear, Ableton, Abletron. That's what it's going to be called, Abletron. Make it creative. You don't have to be MIDI port one. So this is going to be called Abletron. That is MIDI port. That's the MIDI port for Ableton. Now you also want to make a MIDI port for send key to key. So let's call it um, key. <laughs> Key key. Let's call it key key. 
No, key key. No, key key. Key key. That's what it's going to be called. Abletron and key key. Now let's have a look and. And let's have a squeeze at what open stage console says. So you need to add the MIDI MIDI ports. And how do you do that? Well, you get the list of MIDI devices. And it tells you exactly what to put in. So see here, the inputs and the outputs. So it's saying, oh, Abletron has got input two and Abletron has output three. Uh, my computer does weird things. I don't know why it's got the Microsoft GS wavetable synth, but it does. And also it's got these extra MIDI ports from my interface. So what you want to do is you want to write in Abletron and spelling is so important and my spelling is terrible which is very unfortunate and you want to write in Abletron uh, that whatever this button is uh, no that that should be shouldn't that be right Abletron whatever that button's called and two and three does that work yes it does that's all you need to know no space then you only need a space when you're listing the other MIDI port which is key key and you want input three that's that's where it says here input three comma Output 4. There we go. Now, Open Stage Control is happy. And we press play. And this is the start of our journey into Open Stage Control. I think that is it for now. That's for setting up the interface and getting it all set up. Uh, the next tutorial, the next part, I'll teach you the the simple basics to kind of getting it connected to Ableton.